poison that's silently contaminating our soil, food, and water. And this is a great thread from, well, we'll see him, just check him out on Twitter. It's destroying our gut microbiomes, hormones, and it's linked to chronic disease like cancer. It's called glyphosate. And here's what you can do to protect your health. Herbicides sprayed all over the world. It's sprayed in many crops and is increasingly been de detected in soil, water, and in, hu in, in humans. <laughs> In the U.S., over 80% of the population has traces of it in their body. Now, of course, I didn't get tested. You didn't get tested. This is just a statistic of, a, you know, random people they might have tested that might have come from, like, one geographic region or one state or something. So that's not very accurate. But, I mean, even if it's, like, almost kind of true and 50% of us have it in our body because we eat at restaurants, we eat processed food. Uh, I mean, I enjoy the occasional pizza and other things like that. I sometimes on the road will eat not great meats not great ingredients, probably seed oils, etc. And that's what is glyphosate is used to grow, to make, right? The increasing usage of glyphosate is concerning because it's linked to so, so many health issues like reproductive dysfunction, neurotoxicity, liver damage, microbiome dysbiosis, and cancer. And the WHO, I mean, nobody trusts them, but they consider a probable human carcinogen. Yet, why is it still so used? Well, that's the power of lobbying and... The USDA and food subsidies and the broken big food, big pharma, big government nanny state triad that basically keeps Americans sick and dumb. That's that's what you get. This is what you get. Despite the negative health impacts, it's being used more to the extent below. Some parts of the world are worse than others too. For example, US allows five more than Europe. But look at this usage growing and look at the concentration there. You see that concentration there and the usage growing? And, and like we've been – we've known this stuff for years. People have been bashing Monsanto for years. Uh, Food Incorporated I think was a great documentary about just how evil that company is. And then Bayer bought them and they basically got rid of the name because it's such a negative branding. But like think about that. Bayer, pharmaceutical company, buys a seed and pesticide and herbicide company. Like why? Why? Perhaps they're in the same business? Make people fat and sick? Sell them drugs. The shit that boggles my mind when it comes to this stuff. So they've been sued in hundreds. I mean, he says hundreds of thousands of cases. I don't know. That sounds like a lot. But I know for sure at least hundreds of cases, maybe thousands. And they've paid more than $10.9 billion for, some, for these cases. And it's still used. It's still sold. People still consume it. It's like, so what, what do you do about this? Well... One more reason to stay away from restaurant food, big food, processed food, etc. Go to farmer's market. Get to know your farmer. Grow some of your own food, right? Ship in some regenerative grass of beef if it's not near you or find somebody locally that does it. Buy super high quality supplements from wild trusted sources that you can be sure no glyphosate is around. And like you, it's unfortunate, but if you live in America, like this is a never ending thing you're going to have to contend with. And it's even more reason that you just need to take your health and your food choices into your own hands and stop outsourcing it to mega corporations and stop how outsourcing, you know, like health dogma and big medical dogma and like the low fat theory and like bashing meat and whatever. I mean, I can't, there's too much to even get into, but you got to do your own research. Remember in 2020, they said do your own research was like some right-wing conspiracy or something. They were trying to disincentivize you from doing it or discourage you from doing it as if you couldn't think for yourself. You couldn't read a research paper for yourself. You couldn't watch some talks for yourself. Of course you can. And of course you should.